I've given this some thought on what to say about being inducted into Wagner's Hall of Fame. Maybe add some humor. Hmm. All right, I'm going to show everybody, for old time's sake, how I used to get down on my three-point stance. All right, here we go. The neck. The neck, here we go, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there goes my back. Uh, help me up. You got I decided against that. I'm going to talk about how I really feel. It's been over 40 years since I played football for Wagner College. When I received a call from Coach Hamline, the first thing he said was, Phil, this is way overdue. I was thinking it was way too late. I emailed Dom LaRusso, the starting quarterback my senior year, and I told him I wasn't sure I would accept the honor. But he said something that gave me pause. He said that the award wasn't just for me. It was for all the guys I played with. He was right. I'll explain why, but first, I'd like someone to take a hammer to the trophy and smash it into little pieces. Because Dom was right. The award doesn't just belong to me. A piece belongs to the guys I played with on the offensive line. Gene Buckley, Selwyn Davis, Pete Demeropoulos, Ed Gelazeski, Dan Robinson, and Tom Kaspowitz. Give a piece to all the guys who play in the backfield and the receivers. And even give a tiny piece to Phil Marrick. He was the kicker. We were a hell of an offense, and I share this honor with you. Give a piece to all the guys who play defense. They had to put up with me during practice, because I'd always go full speed when we scrimmaged. Some of the guys would say, like, Phil, what are you doing? We're on the same team. Because if I was as good as people thought, I wasn't going to cheat them out of playing against me. They took me on, and they took on every offense they faced. I was an art major at Wagner. Even though my art teachers would tell me to put more effort into painting and stop wasting my time in sports, they always made sure I had all the supplies I needed. They even gave me my own studio on the third floor of one of the old historical buildings on campus. I'd sneak in when the building was closed, climbing up the fire escape and paint all night. So do me a favor, give a piece to the art department. Please mail me a few pieces so I can give them to other people who deserve it. One, even though he's not with us anymore, is my old football coach from high school. Andrew Barberi. After one of our games at Wagner, a fellow comes up to me and said, Coach Barberi has a message for you. Even though he had been retired for a few years, Coach Barberi still came to watch me play. I thought the message was going to be like, Phil, you're doing good. I'm proud of you. It was, it was nothing like that. He said, you tell Thies he's sucking wind. I see him breathing heavy. He's getting lazy in the fourth quarter. Tell him to start doing more wind sprints. After that, every night, I'd run the stairs in my dormitory building. And then, there was my offensive line coach at Wagner, Walt Hamline. Man, he pushed me to no end. It didn't matter how many guys I knocked over or how well I thought I did or what the papers wrote. Coach was never satisfied with my performance. He always expected more, nothing less. I'm sure I wasn't the only player who cussed him under their breath. Give Coach Hamline the biggest piece of the trophy. Coach, I'd be honored you having it. Congratulations to Andrew Bailey, Morgan Miller, and Heather George. I read your achievements, and I'm not embarrassed to say I'm jealous. You made this year's Hall of Fame class notable. Ultimately, I don't think, I don't think this honor is about me or the people who influenced my life. It's about Wagner College. It's about tomorrow. My freshman year, while hanging out with a few of the older players, the topic came up about who they thought was the worst guy in the team. They picked me. Maybe I was, but Wagner taught me that I could change that. That's what Wagner's all about, what you can make of your future. I have new goals in my life now. It's my artwork. The goals I set are high, and I, may never, I might never achieve them, or if I do, I might not be around to see it, and that's okay. Because Wagner College gave me something that helped me succeed in different careers. It gave me an advantage, audacity. The audacity to challenge myself, to not be complacent. The audacity to aim for greatness, no matter what I do. That's Wagner College. And to Wagner College, I thank you. What's that, mail from Wagner? Let me see.
Jesus. What is this? No. No. It was a metaphor. It was a metaphor. 